Hello and welcome to the COVID vaccination workflow demonstration. I'm Becky Porter, Epic Trainer for Samaritan Health Services. This video will demonstrate how to schedule walk-up patients for COVID vaccinations, how to assist patients with self-scheduling through open schedule, as well as how to document COVID vaccination administration in Epic Hyperspace. We will begin by discussing one-click scheduling for walk-up patients. Please note, it's very important to be logged into the GSR SAM Care Mobile Vaccination Department so that you will have access to the one-click option. We will locate our patient using the appointment desk. Click the appointment button in the top toolbar. Search for and select your patient. This will bring us to the patient's appointment desk. Now we will select the one-click button on the appointment desk toolbar. Select a time slot and click Accept. This will take us to the appointment review. Be sure that Outpatient is selected and click Accept. Now that we're in registration, we can update any guarantor and coverage information if needed and update the encounter info. We'll update the accident-related field to No. and the attending provider to Robin Page Eccles. Click Continue Check-in. This takes us to copay. No copay is needed for this appointment type. Click Accept. The patient is now scheduled and checked in. We will now discuss open scheduling. Open scheduling is used by patients to schedule their own COVID vaccination appointments. We are including this information in the event a patient needs assistance with this process. Patients will access open scheduling through the open scheduling link. Now click the vaccination icon. The available vaccination appointment dates and times will display. Choose a date and time. Now enter vaccination as the reason for the visit and click schedule it. After these first steps are completed, there is a separate process for patients who have my chart and patients who do not. First, we will discuss patients who do not have my chart access. Once the form is filled out entirely, click next. In the next screen, insurance information can be added, though it is not required. Click Next. Prove that you are not a robot by answering the questions. The patient is now scheduled and should receive an email confirmation. For patients who do have my chart, they will go through the open scheduling link and follow the steps as outlined previously, but rather than schedule as a guest, they will select Login and Schedule It. They will enter their MyChart user ID and password. This will bring them to their appointment details page in MyChart where they should now see their appointment displayed. They can click Confirm to confirm the appointment. The patient is now scheduled and will receive an email confirmation. For the last portion of this demonstration, we will be discussing documenting the vaccination administration. After double clicking the Epic icon on your desktop, you will then be brought to a screen to enter your user ID and password. After entering your user ID and password, the next screen will ask for the department. It's important to log into the GSR SAMCARE Mobile Vaccination Department. We now see the multi-provider schedule showing all patients scheduled for today. Highlight your first patient and then click the IMM Clinic button. This will take you to the documentation screen viewable in the lower pane. Verify your patient is correct. Click on the immunization magnifying glass and choose the correct COVID vaccine. 
document the lot number, supervising provider, BIS publication date, NDC number, and expiration date. Verify and document the site of the injection either using the quick buttons or the magnifying glass. There are some questions for the patient specific to the COVID vaccine. Fill in the answers to these questions if possible. It is preferred that these questions be answered but not required. Once all the documentation is completed, click Administer. This will take you to the next patient on this schedule. The immunization type, lot number, NDC, expiration date will all pull forward to the next patient automatically. You'll want to verify the information has not changed, such as lot number. Enter the administration site and answer the questions for this patient and click Administer. This concludes our EPIC workflow demonstration. If you're interested in learning more, please see the links in the video description below. Thank you for watching.